Well, hello, friends. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, you can hear the sprinklers going, and you just saw me um, moving the um, pineapple plants. Yeah, I've had a busy day out here. But friends, today, you know what I'm doing? I'm doing two open collaborations. The first one is hashtag Garden Tour Saturday, and it's hosted by Grandma Sandy. And the second open collaboration is called hashtag Let's Share Our Plant Success or Disaster Stories, and it's hosted by Janita's BF Well Wishes Gardening. Well, friends, I want to thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I've got a list of things for us to look at. But we're going to keep it nice and short here today. So uh, first, let's take a look at what I've got going in my pots. And um, then we'll take a look at some other things. So come on, friends. Let's get to it. Well, here we go, friends. Our yearly move of the pineapples. Got one here. I got one here. And you know, the little pup, I'm not going to move yet. I'm going to have to decide what size pot to put it in, but let's take a quick look at her. This is the soil that I use. I've got lots of um, um, dead leaves in here, some soil. I put a little um, perlite in there. Yeah, nice little mixture. But right here is the little baby that I didn't move, and that's the little pup. Friends, back in 2017, I was part of a challenge called the Pineapple Challenge. And we were all trying to grow pineapples from just the uh, store-bought pineapple. But you know what, friends? <laughs> These are what I have left. A uh, little sweetness, and um, I forgot what the name of the other one was. And then they had a little, and then there's the little pup that I never named, just little pup is what I called it. But friends, these have been hanging on since 2017. So if anyone else has a pineapple that is still alive from the pineapple challenge, I'd really like to see it. Here's our friend's page. And she said that she'd be interested in starting a pineapple. So, so friends, I put the information on how to get started. That's going to be in the description box, along with the um, host of the, ch of the challenges, because that's too much information to put in the uh, title bar. And uh, the people that I answer their questions, they're also going to be in the description box. So on with the tour, my friends. As we approach the radishes that have gone to seed, friends, I have been waiting for something here. I have been waiting for something, and I think I see it. Look at that. I think this is a radish pod that I can eat. That bet, it's in the garden has been eating them. Um, Clive's Cadundrum Garden, that's the name of the channel. That's uh, Jason and Colleen. They say that these are spicy, so yeah, I'm just gonna give it a, a little taste. Excuse me. Mm. Tastes like a radish. While we're over here, it's late in the day, so none of my pumpkin blooms are probably open. I had another question from a friend. This is our friend's channel who wants to know what color the blooms are on the pumpkin plants. This is my pumpkin blooms. When I was up the hill um, last week or so, um, one of the um, bougainvillea petals had fallen onto one of the pumpkin leaves and they thought that the um, the flower for the pumpkins here were like uh, pink, but no, they're orange. That was just uh, one of the petals from the bougainvillea that fell. I know a lot of you like flowers, and you'll never guess what this is. This is a flower on a guava tree, 
And then we have our little mischievous wander down here. Let's go take a look down the tunnel here. This is a nice cool place when it gets hot. But let's go down here and take a look, look at something. This is part of our success, our disaster. My husband wanted to save that little pumpkin. And so what he did was he had a friend come and get the little pumpkin out. You see, he stretched it. So here's the little pumpkin from last week. You can see it's had a little dent in it. I don't know if this is gonna be good, but I'm gonna show this to him and see if he still wants to keep this little pumpkin after that. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. Well, this area is the last area we're gonna look at today. And here we have it, friends. This is our sunflower we're waiting for. Hasn't opened yet, but it's definitely taller than me this week. Yeah, <laughs> definitely taller. And I also have something really fun to show you. This is the red velvet sunflower. Isn't that pretty? At least I think that's the name. If that's not the name, I'll put the right name down at the bottom. Well, anyway, I'll just put the name at the bottom so we'll know. Yeah, but there you go. Isn't that pretty? And it's got multi heads on it that aren't open yet. Yeah, this is gonna be beautiful. Well, friends, that's all I have for today. I enjoy showing you around in the garden. That little radish seed was good. I wanna thank you for stopping by and giving me a visit. I really appreciate the time that we spend together. I wanna thank Grandma Sandy, and I also want to thank Janita. Um, the channel's Janita's Black Folk Well Wishes Gardening. Gardening. Well, friends, I want you to be for sure you check out the uh, playlist for both um, collaborations, and also check the description box for the information on the channels that I shared their names today. So. Yeah, it's time for me to say bye. <laughs> so bye-bye friends. Until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.